Thanks. Certainly. Um, Andrew Williamson, or better known as Wilbur Williamson, was murdered on the 11th of November 2003, um, where unknown offenders apparently broke into his dugout or forced entry into his dugout in the early hours of the morning. He was found um, the next morning and had died um, from a beating. A large amount of cash and jewellery was suspected of having been stolen at the time, um, and this hasn't been recovered since. Again, with this investigation, just because it's old doesn't mean we can't solve it. Um, the public and the people from Cooper PD got behind us in the Karen Williams investigation, and if we were to see that level of cooperation with this case, we could get a successful outcome. In particular with that, there was some jewellery stolen. It's very distinctive jewellery, and it's quite possible that that jewellery was bought by people unwittingly who may not know that it was from a theft or from this robbery. Um, or indeed they could have bought it knowing that it was from a robbery or a break-in, but not necessarily knowing that it was from a robbery where a person had died. So I would encourage anybody who's in possession of that jewellery or has been in possession of that jewellery to come forward um, and that they have nothing to fear and that we will work through the issues with those people um, and notwithstanding the passage of time, if they came forward, that would make a significant difference to this investigation. Do the police have any idea on the motive of this? We believe he was most likely uh, robbed. Um, he was in possession of a significant amount of cash shortly before his death. Um, he also had um, some expensive gold jewellery of his own, which he wore, and neither the cash nor the jewellery was found. Um, he was also very ill at the time, so what makes it even more callous is the fact that he would have been incapable of physically defending himself, um, and um, people have sought to go there and rob him in the early hours. What's led police to renew their calls for information into this case in particular? It's, it's, ten, year, it's ten years today, um, and on the anniversary of it, it's, um, it's worthy of revisiting that particular case and having a look and seeing if we can jog people's memory. Um, so we've released it through Crime Stoppers, speaking to you today, um, and that sort of um, um, tactic has been successful in the past in, I guess, reinvigorating people, um, getting people to come forward uh, and help us. And as I say, um, people could have bought that jewellery or had it given to them um, some years ago, not necessarily knowing where it came from. And if they know that that jewellery came from a murder and that they've potentially got it, they might be scared to come forward. And that's why I say to those people, come forward, contact us, um, you won't be in any trouble, and that would help us solve this case. Yes, what's your message to the offenders out there, given your success recently with Karen Williams, 23 years on, which is only 10 years ago, um, you can still very easily catch it. Yes, certainly with this, um, as with all, all of these matters, um, there's the opportunity to solve any case, it doesn't matter how old it is. Obviously, the older it gets, the more difficult it becomes for a variety of reasons, but the reality of it is um, people who commit these sort of crimes, hopefully, um, are not at ease and are looking over their shoulder for the rest of their life because the likelihood is that one day that we will be able to get enough evidence and we will arrest them.